All right guys, so we've got the exact same ammunition that I had when I previously did the Lithgow review. So we've got the 52 grain Spear from Federal Premium, we've got the 55 grain uh, Game King from OSA, then we've got the 55 grain VMAX from Hornady, then we've got 69 grain Match from Lapua, and then last of all we've got 75 grain uh, TAP from Hornady. So target there at 100 yards everything's pretty much exactly the same as it was same scope same everything just the uh, new barrel so we'll put uh, five rounds through for each group and just see if it shoots any different Okay guys, so looking at the groups, I'm not really impressed just without measuring them. So the first one here was the uh, Federal Premium loaded with the Spear. Now that's coming in at uh, 0.8 of an inch. Then when we come down to the OSA with the 55 grain Game King. Now last time I did this, you know, we were just getting hole through hole for four of the shots and then there was a uh, flyer. But um, yeah, this time we're a little bit more spread to an inch. Then coming up to the 55 grain VMAX, now that's spread a bit too, so you know 1.4 inches. Then when we come to the 69 grain uh, Lapua match, now that's um, come down a little bit there with four shots into 0.8 of an inch, but with the fifth, we're at 1.2 inches there. Then the uh, Hornady TAP, now normally uh, the TAP you know shot really badly last time it was out at uh, three and a half inches I don't know what was going on there but uh, anyhow this time a lot better story but still I'm not impressed 1.2 inches there so on average we're getting like 1.2 inches um, which is just terrible so yeah I, I don't know guys um, just not impressed at this stage Okay guys, I want to find another ammo that the uh, rifle likes other than just the Spear 52 grain. It seems to be warming a bit more to the heavier grain ammo than what it did with the old barrel. So um, look, we'll try the um, OSA with the 55 grain Blitz King this time. Then we'll try the uh, American Eagle 50 grain uh, tip varmint. Then we'll try the Outback ammo with the 69 grain match. And then we'll try Federal Premium with the 69 grain match. And then we'll try RWS with the 69 grain match. So yeah, same thing, five shot groups at 100 yards and we'll just see which one it takes a liking to.
Okay guys, so we had three shots um, of that uh, 55 grain Blitz King from OSA, you know, into a ridiculous 0.2 of an inch, you know, so that was fantastic. But then we had the fourth and fifth shot uh, blow out. So unfortunately we've come out to probably about an inch, I'd say. Yep, right on an inch. Then when we came down to the uh, <laughs> American Eagle, um, yeah, I think we have what, one, two, three, four, maybe a fifth shot off target there. So yeah, look, that's well over four inches. Then uh, coming up to the Outback 69 grain match. Now that's come in nicely. That isn't too bad at all. 0.7 of an inch. Then when we come up to the uh, Federal Premium with the 69 grain match, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I think it's gonna blow it out to about an inch as well. Yep, we're gonna be at an inch. Then uh, the RWS 69 grain match. So we got one, two, three, four, five shots there. So, you know, if we had the four to be hovering around just under an inch, about 0.9, but that fifth shot has blown it right out. So we've come in at about 1.8 inches. So, all right, guys. So um, look, that's the best I could do under these conditions. So the 52 grain spear from uh, Federal if you're into hunting and if you're into shooting it for accuracy and match definitely the outback ammo of the 69 grain um, match king projectile so yeah they're the best two ammos that have performed for me since having this rebarrel all right guys so i've come inside because it's just too hot outside it's well over 40 degrees and i just thought i'd get in the shade to wrap up the final part of the review so what i've done is i've asked lithgo a series of questions and i think that a lot of you will find this interesting so the first question I asked them was, why the recall? And uh, they've said here, Lithgow Arms took precautionary action to recall all LA-102 crossover rifles in 223 and 243 due to evidence of a potential barrel defect. Second question I asked was, how were the faults identified and how many rifles were affected? So they've said, evidence of micro cracking in the barrel steel was identified. Lithgow Arms then initiated a precautionary recall of all LA-102 223s and 243 rifles in consultation with the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission and in accordance with our responsibilities under relevant state and Commonwealth legislation. So, okay guys, so obviously there's been a, a potential issue there, so they've taken the proactive uh, step to go, okay, let's recall all these and get correct barrels on them. Uh, the third question I asked was, are the barrels still cold hammer forged steel and what has changed the, um, as there are no marks on the outside of the barrel anymore? So if any of you guys have got your barrel back, you'll notice that on the outside you just don't have the normal marks that were there um, you know, with the previous or original barrels. So they've said, yes, there are no marks on the outside of the barrel now because we turned the external profile on a CNC lathe. So that's the reason for it. Uh, fourth question I said how many um, rifle rebarrelings can take place per day so they've said here the factory um, is remediating around 150 barrels per week to ensure the barrels are returned to rifle owners as um, quickly as possible so 30 a day we're looking at here guys so you know for those who you know are going off ridiculously saying the weight is too much it's just ridiculous um, you know, I like to look at things a little bit more analytically and get a little bit of homework before I go off. Um, is it frustrating? Yeah, it is, but what more do you want? If, if there's like, you know, two, three thousand, um, two to threes out there or, or more, um, and they're doing 30 barrels a day at their maximum capacity, um, how are they gonna get any more done? Um, I just don't understand what some uh, people out there are expecting them to do. Now, fifth question I said here was, will the 308 be next? Um, if not, um, were those barrels made differently? They haven't really answered my question here. They've said LA-102, 223 and 243 caliber rifles are subject of the recall. The LA-102, 308 is not subjected to the recall. Well, okay, yeah, I understand that. But that's really not what I asked here. I wanted to know are the barrels made differently because the, the next question that people are going to ask is are the 308s next? Because obviously they've been made the same way. 
Um, I just find it very strange that the 308 hasn't been recalled because they were the first ones uh, made, you know, those calibers. So, but then we've got 223 and 243 that have uh, been recalled. So, is there a problem with the steel supplier or, or something? Is there a problem with um, that in general from when they made the 223 um, and the 243? I, I don't know, guys. These are just questions that, um, you know, that I'm asking. So, yeah, so that was uh, how they answered my questions there. Um, I certainly hope it's not going to be 308 because my 308 just shoots brilliantly, very accurately. But then again, the 243 shot brilliantly as well. So this brings me now to the 223. Um, if any of you have got your um, rebarreled 2D3 back, you'll notice that there's this test target, but there's no actual holes in it. So it's done uh, a computer generated, um, well, a computer basically um, sees where those shots are gone and then just prints out the paper accordingly. Now, I also did ask why the test target is at 50 meters. I mean, you know, really who shoots a, um, a 2 to 3 or any centerfire really at 50 meters? Usually, you know, you're looking at 100 yards, 100 meters. Um, but they said that that's their uh, indoor range. That's the maximum length they've got. So to make sure that these barrels are shooting correctly, um, that was the conditions or the control conditions they can do it under. So, um, yeah, so that explains that very simply. Um, yeah, their indoor range is at 100 metres. So, uh, yeah. Now, a couple more thoughts, guys, before I finish up with this video. Um, as I said, like, yeah, it's been frustrating. Um, there's been some people who have just been going, you know, going berserk over this. And, uh, and I know that uh, some of the... Um, uh, customer service people in Lithgow have just copped an absolute mouthful of abuse. Um, you know, to me, I don't care whether it's firearms or, or what. Um, you know, some people are really uneducated and they just let their mouth run off before they actually think about things. And, uh, you know, I'd like to say, you know, to that is, what, what do you expect Lithgow to do in this particular circumstance? Like, um, I just don't understand what else people want them to do. Um, they've identified the problem, they've then recalled it, um, no cost to any of us um, who have bought our firearms. They then send it back, they give you a 10 year warranty, it's still got an MOA guarantee, they throw in a spare mag. Um, I just don't understand what more people want. So. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on it there, guys. Um, in wrapping up with how my 2D3 has performed since I've got it back, a little bit confused as to why it likes different ammo. I, I don't understand that. Um, you know, well, yes, I can understand it, but I don't understand it. I would have thought, well, if the barrels were all pretty much made the same way, that uh, it would still favor the original OSA 55 grain Game King. Um, you know, but obviously it, it doesn't. It, it seems to perform better with the 55 grain uh, Blitz King. You know, we had those three shots into 0.2 of an inch, which is just fantastic. But then the fourth and the fifth shot blew out. Um, then we've got the 52 grain Spear from Federal Premium. Yeah, that's gone reasonably well. It's under an inch. Um, I would have liked to have seen it shooting better. Um, and then we've got the 69 grain Match. Um, you know, which was the performer of the day from Outback Ammo. So um, what I'd like to do, guys, is, you know, as I said, look, it's sweltering hot outside. I don't know whether the barrel's just heated up a bit too much, but or it's a brand new barrel. I haven't had time for this, it to settle in with any particular ammo. But still, this is using it in real conditions. You guys at home um, are most likely to experience exactly the same thing I have. So that's why I'm not waiting for, you know, a ridiculously still day. Um, you know, I use it in real conditions and they're the results right there. Um, I'd like to spend a little bit more time with it. Um, yeah, even shoot it on a calmer day and just see if I can tighten those groups down to about sort of half an inch um, around there. I'd be really, really happy. But at the moment, it seems to be hovering around that 0.7 to 0.8 of an inch, um, you know, for five shots and 100 uh, with you know, those different factory ammos that it likes. So yes, you know, their three shot MOA guarantee, I believe it is that they've got there at 100. Um, definitely, it's still shooting to that. But yeah, I'd just like to see a little bit more accuracy with it, but uh, it's something I'm gonna hang on to and um, to just shoot on another day. So look guys, I'll leave it at that. There's a lot of discussion about it. Um, by all means, comment below this video, um, get the conversation going. You know, if you're really, really upset and annoyed with Lithgow, like, 
you know, tell me, tell others, explain why. Um, you know, I'd be interested to actually hear your thoughts and to try to get a little bit more of an understanding of what's going on. Um, but then again, if you're supportive of them or you're happy with it, um, or even a range um, report on how your rebarreled litho is since you've got it back, how it shoots and everything, by all means, comment below and let's get the conversation going. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.